So I'm Mike Frank. I'm a faculty member in the psychology department and I work with the Symbolic Systems program as well. And I'm a member of the HAI team for uh, Curious Agents. And what we're interested in is really trying to understand the nature of curiosity, what leads us to explore the world. And we try to look at that from both the perspective of infants and infant development, and also the perspective of artificial agents, AIs and robots that are trying to learn and explore together. Understanding the problem of curiosity has a couple of different sides. So as a developmental psychologist, what I focus on is characterizing children's behaviors and trying to build models that explain them. That has a really interesting synergy though with the engineering and artificial intelligence side, because as we try to create artificial agents, we also need that fundamentally unifying curiosity, that drive that helps them change what they're doing even as they learn. So our project has a couple of different interlocking aims. On the side of education and developmental psychology, we're trying to capture children's visual experience and their exploratory behaviors, both with their eyes, just where they look and attend, but also their manual behaviors and even their exploration, where they move to. Then on the side of engineering and artificial intelligence, we're trying to create agents that actually can manifest some of those same behaviors when we put them in in silico versions of those situations. So we're creating virtual environments that allow them to explore in the same way that babies explore their own environments. And then finally, as we translate from engineering to robotics, we're really starting to think about how those environments could be used to train real agents out there in the world by virtue of these artificial experiences that we've created. So we're really trying to translate between the insights of behavioral and developmental science all the way through engineering and robotics. So what we've found is that the observation of children's behavior feeds into the design of the AI, but then the AI actually comes back and helps inform tools that we use to analyze children's behaviors. And those kinds of virtuous cycles are something that I never really anticipated in this line of work. So this kind of closed loop is really something that was enabled by the scale of the Hoffman Yee Award. It allowed us to come together and really think through these problems and how they mutually inform one another. So for me, the most exciting scientific impact is really just getting a handle on this deep question, what does it mean for an agent, for a person, for a baby to be curious about the world? As a psychologist, we see all of these puzzles in children's early behavior. Why are you doing this thing that's fundamentally not adaptive? Why are you, uh, you know, trying to destroy my living room? Why are you trying to get into the locked cabinets? Why are you trying to build a tall tower? All of these puzzles fundamentally feel like they're they're not explainable just with respect to the here and now and the basic needs of the child. They seem like they're explainable with respect to the child's curiosity and their drive to learn and understand. So really formalizing that is a fundamental scientific goal. And I think if we can do that, we'd be able to explain a tremendous amount about children's development. AI has been getting better and better over the past 10 years. It's just been amazing. But one of the things that AI rarely does is it really surprises you. Kids are characterized by this emergence of new behaviors, new goals, new ideas. How can we capture that kind of creative synthesis that's happening for kids between what they can do and what they want to do? That's the goal of our project. An additional goal that we might serve by uh, understanding curiosity is the ability to create AI that isn't tailored for one particular task or one particular challenge. If you think about uh, the kind of on-the-job training that we might give to a person, we would never say, okay, you need to get really good at this one specific task so that you're perfectly representing that task. And if your goal changes, then you're useless, right? That kind of single purpose training would be anathema to any kind of workplace environment. And yet we train AIs in precisely that way. If we're able to create a more flexible way of training AIs that says, hey, look around the world. What do you need to know in order to really understand this place? How would that help you accomplish your current goal? That might be a much more flexible technique and it might allow the kind of agents 
that could sit inside a robot and really uh, be sensitive to their environment, could really explore it and learn about it and adapt to changes in it. I think that's the promise of uh, curiosity for AI, not in the short term maybe, but in the long term, that we might have agents that really flexibly respond and learn about their environments. Thank you.